Operating is closed on the 5th of June, 2023. As always, we'll do our disclaimer first. We'll go over our calls and then make some predictions. It's my trading plan for Tuesday, which is June 6th, 2023. Any trade you make should be made at your own risk because my calls can be wrong. Look for the pattern with the early high, which is this. Tomorrow should also have the early high. Typically, this is a rally day. It closes near its high, and if not, you have a straight line drop. Well, it certainly isn't a rally day. Now, time doesn't run out until tomorrow. So if you gap and take this high out, it's a standard day. But if that doesn't happen, you should have a straight line drop, and I'm not certain that's straight enough. So if we don't open up here, there's a good chance we gap down smartly. It's never really good when you gap up, hit a higher high, close under the highs, and even under the intervening low. It should lead to lower prices if you don't take this out early. Now this is a reminder of what we said. Uh, we did trade one penny over Friday's close, so we have confirmation that we're, that we're going up. That doesn't mean we go up every day and doesn't mean we go up tomorrow. It just means we've broken through some resistance. You can you can still pull back. Now we have a higher target, 4298.77, but MJT will almost always leave a failed target at major changes in trend, and I think this could be one. Now now that, that was again square of nine date on Saturday, so whether the high is Friday or Monday it makes no difference. It's still a direct hit. His price was 42.90. I'm not certain nine points is going to be enough to get rid of all the negativity. Now we did get an ultimate sell signal as we were going up, and that certainly worked. MJT says this drop is not for keeps, gives us the target. But as I say, you're almost always going to leave a failed target if this is a major change in trend. Now we have the volatility index reversing through its Bollinger Band. That's a sell signal. We have the NASDAQ McClellan Oscillator reversing through its Bollinger Band. That's a sell signal. If you look at the weekly chart, we've still had a rally right up here into resistance. If you, uh, if you look here, here's again fan line from the all-time high. It's a one-by-one -one fan line. That's strong resistance. You know the rules. Either you gap over that line or the line wins. So we're going to use the mixed signals rules. Tuesday's pattern has the early high. We could still gap down. Today's normally bullish pattern was not bullish at all. Unless we, unless we gap and promptly overtake today's high, we should see lower prices tomorrow, regardless of how we close. When the bullish pattern fails, there's typically a straight line drop. I don't see that today, so if we don't get the new recovery high, the odds favor a straight line drop at the open. Now, despite this bearish pattern, we have a higher MJT target, and the rules call for it to print unless we gap down smartly. That's why we're using the mixed signals rules. But again, we always, almost always leave a failed target at the major change in trend. That's what I think this could well be. The volatility index and NASDAQ McClellan oscillator have both given Bollinger Band reversal sell signals, and we stopped right at the major one by one GAN fan line. This is all negative stuff. We can still save the day if we gap and take this high out, but otherwise, this could be at end of this rally up. Now, again, once this is uh, over, I think it's just the end to be. I think the drop is going to be contained, and I think we're going to have a strong rally after that. But I've been waiting for this B to end for some time now. And this is a very good candidate for the end of that leg. Tomorrow has the early high, but if we don't take this out, I think we'll open by gapping down smartly, and that is today's call.